Good evening, everybody. I hope you are all well. Uh, welcome to the first episode of the Maverick build, which is the dual line kite that Josh has designed for us in the Zoom tonight. I have myself, uh, Mr. Chris Purcell. Good evening, Chris. Good evening. There we go. And we have Mr. Josh Mitchison. Good evening, Josh. How are you? I'm not bad, mate. How are you doing? I'm doing very well. Uh, now, before we continue, I would just like to ask everybody watching. Now, we don't have someone behind the scenes sharing the link in all the groups uh, this evening. So if you're watching, please, will you be kind enough to take the link for the Facebook Live or the YouTube Live video and just share it in a few groups um, just so we can get as many people as we can watching the stream. So I'm going to send a quick link. And whilst I'm doing that, Josh, would you be kind enough to tell us what we're going to be doing this evening? Uh, yeah, so this evening, um, we've been a little bit late with it, but we wanted to make sure they were perfect. We've released the plans for the Maverick this evening. Um, and this week, because of some slight confusion last time, we're just going to go through how we build uh, put the templates together, uh, how to make sure they're right, and how to just be ready for that next step when we eventually start cutting into the corrects. Um, there's also been some questions asked about what the capabilities of this kite is going to be. So I'm just going to give you guys a brief kind of overview. Um, the kite is smaller. Uh, it's about an 80% size of uh, a full-size kite. Um, it is designed with the idea of being kind of a beginner's kite, kind of like that step between what you can buy off the shelf and then what a, that step where you're going to the next level and you're starting to learn the basic tricks. So this kite is going to do, it's going to have some moderate precision in there um, and it's going to do the majority of those simple tricks that you can learn off the, off the start of learning the trick fly. Um, tonight to build the templates, all you'll need, uh, print the templates in an A4 format or A3, whatever you prefer. Straight rule, Scalpel with an appropriate sharp scalpel blade, double-sided tape, and if you've got one, a pen, but you know, everybody's got a pen. Um, yeah, and that's what we're going to need tonight. So so I have just, uh, there's a few people already uh, tuning in. We've got uh, Spence, uh, we've got Peter, we've got Mark, we've got Bruno. Anyone that wants to join us uh, in Zoom, I've just put the Zoom link in. So you are more than welcome to come and weigh in, give us any of your own tips that you use when you're kite building. Uh, yeah, come and join us. Okay, so yeah, the first things first, uh, I suppose we're going to show the printing, the, the settings that we use when we print. Uh, yes. Do you have the plans up in front of you, Matt? I'm going to get the plans in front of me now. Have no fear. Uh, so let's have a look. Ah, right. Okay. Uh, well, what he's in. Good evening, what uh, he's waving. He's waving. He's, he's, Hello. oh, there, there we go. Look, he's, he's got it. Uh, okay. Bear with me for two seconds, Josh. No problem at all, Matt. So if anybody wants the link, uh, to the plans, then uh, we can, in fact, I'm going to distribute that now as well. And if anyone has any questions, uh, oh, Josh, do you want to talk about the kits? Yes. So um, last time we did the mini pulse build, there was a lot of people asking where they could source things and what they actually needed in specifics, kind of that area. Uh, this time we've decided that it would be helpful if we can offer kits for you guys that you can buy direct from us um, and it has everything you need to build the kite or there is an option to buy your frames, fittings, uh, everything by your sail fabric as a separate kit. Uh, obviously the one with the sail fabric is a little bit more expensive um, but the, you will find the links to purchase these kits on the, on the line page which I think is it live now Matt? Uh, yeah, it's live, and I've just posted the link in the chat. Um, because of the time scale that we have with building the kite, and we want to keep things current for you guys, 
Um, for a guaranteed delivery before the requirements of those kits, um, we're going to have to cut off the orders at about 5 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, British time. But you can you can order those kits after that point, but there's no guarantee that the, the kit will arrive uh, so that you can follow on with us in the, the time that we're working. Um, but yeah, so they'll be available and the you have the choice. Uh, there's three kites colorways you can buy there. So you have the, the pink, the white and the blue, which you should be able to see on the layout for the Maverick on the Facebook page. Um, yeah. Yeah, so there's definitely a picture there. So, okay, uh, Josh, you're, I'm going to open. So the first critical thing is so that we can get consistency is I'm opening the plans in uh, Adobe Reader. Um, you can use Acrobat if you've got access to Acrobat, but obviously Adobe Reader is free. So uh, if you haven't got it, go and download it. Um, at, I think adobe.com and download Adobe Reader. So let's try and do a screen share now uh okay so josh you're going to talk me through what we're doing so can everyone see my screen uh yes we can okay so let's just minimize that and so we're going to go to file print yep so straight away we're in the print setup so matt already has this as a preset by the looks of it um, yeah but you can that um so the pages you want to print you want to have all selected um and then you can see in the size and handling below you want to select poster uh, yeah. matt's already got poster selected yeah um, so then you're going to drop down to the tile scale now it's imperative that you leave this at 100 or you will build a smaller kite yes uh, or, you or, will <laughs> um and if that actually won't work because then the seams will uh, they'll fall out of proportion and you, you'll end up with something weird uh, the overlap, you want to have a 0 0.15 of an inch. So I actually had that set wrong, but yeah, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, you want to have your cut marks and your labels enabled. Um, and then... Hold on, Josh. Gonna... Is, is is it 0 0.15 or 0 0.015? Uh, 0 0.15. Yeah, okay. So that was totally out. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then you want to print it in portrait orientation. Yeah, and you just, want to, you just want to check on the uh, right hand side that it is in fact 20 pages. Um, the scale at the top will say 101 percent, uh, but it will print at 100 percent. Yeah, and you want to make sure you've got cut marks and labels ticked, right? Yeah, yes. Um, okay, and as long as that's correct and you've aligned your right printer, uh, you should just be able to click print and they will print out for you. Perfect. Okay, all right, I'm not gonna do that because uh, I've already printed them and I know <laughs> that they're absolutely fine. So, uh, but also there is, if you want to check uh, that you have printed them out correctly, Josh has very kindly put a scaling mark um, on the plan. So once they're all assembled, you can actually measure this line here and it should be a hundred mil. If it's not a hundred mil or if it's off, uh, there's something not quite right gone on so get in contact with us and we will endeavor to sort out any issues that you have okay, okay. so in the meantime alan has joined us uh, good evening alan how are you it <laughs> comes up yeah hi guys i'm fine thank you very much good 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 you are you gonna be uh, building along with us or are you just yes i've um, i've printed mine off already <laughs> perfect fantastic excellent okay uh so let me just see if there's any questions going on uh okay bruno uh you're asking in centimeters um do you mean how big the kite will be in centimeters you can just say yes or no as and when i'll keep an eye on that so okay josh next step so we've got our print settings correct We've got 20 pages. We've, I guess we, we need to assemble them next. Yeah. So um, what we're going to do, you'll see that on your pages, um, if you look in the top right, you have these reference codes. So you can, I don't know if you can see that very clear, but this is reference code 1-1. One, one. Um, so that's going to be our starting point. Um, and what those codes are referencing to is the row and the column. Um, and what we're just going to do 
lay them all out before we start cutting anything so we can actually see that the plan is correct as it should be. So I'm going to show you guys this as we do it. Okay. Um, just adjust this up here. And that's some I started earlier. Uh, you'll understand why in a minute. So, uh, so that's your two one. So we know that these are going in the right way. And so that was three one. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> um, and the the first um, the first sheet that you're going to be looking for has the Kite Tech logo on. Uh, it's a good indicator. And you're just going to literally roll them out. And they should start to take shape. And you should be able to see what we're looking for. Um, so I'm interested to know is is what what he is currently working on. Is that are you working on the, the Maverick as we speak? Because it looks like Yeah. Something. Cool. Yeah, uh, I'm cutting out hard templates. Uh, so I can not okay. copy. Oh nice. Um, so, yeah. Ah, jealous. Okay, good, good. Uh, my table's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> we need to start a GoFundMe for Josh to get a bigger table. No, we don't. <laughs> um, I actually have a bigger table in the way. Um, yeah, so. Okay, so... No, oh, no. right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, Bruno's asking about the overlap. Uh, 0.15 inches in centimetres. Uh, 0.15 inches to centimetres is uh, 0.381 centimetres, Bruno. There we go. Okay. So, I'm just going to show you guys now. Um, these laid out, you should see a basic kind of structure. Of where the can't um, see anything at the moment, mate. There we go. No, uh, <laughs> so you can you should see a basic structure and things should start to align. Yeah, um, looking good. Yeah. So from there, because we know they're correct, we can start to assemble this these templates. Um, back in. Uh, right. So. Um, I've actually already started these because the last thing you guys want to watch for an hour is me cutting bits of paper up. Um, so I'm actually just going to push these aside. Um, and I'm going to pull these ones out instead. So um, the way we're going to go about these is again, just lay them, uh, lay them out so you've got a clear view of what you're working with. If you just give me half a second. So yeah, anyone that is watching, uh, we said at the start of the video, but we don't have our behind the scenes man uh, today. So if you can share to groups, if you haven't done so already, we would be very grateful. Um, share whichever you like, the YouTube or the, the Facebook feed, whichever is your preference. Uh, it just helps us out. I don't know if it was mentioned before, but if you also go to the kits page, uh, I'll post it again uh, very shortly. Uh, you'll see there's three color options. So currently in the, in the kit, um, that includes everything with the Icarex, you can choose between a pink, a blue, or a white version. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Nearly there. Sorry. It's all right. It's, all right. it's not a problem. Um, I haven't got anywhere to be. Yeah. Right. So, um, I've aligned my templates now, um, so I know which one I'm going to be starting with. Now, in a typical sense, when these print, you will see that the overlap is defined on one side. So you can see that the, uh, the piece on my left has a larger overlap, which is the defined overlap. Um, and the piece on the right has less of an overlap because that's going to be effectively our cutaway. Um, so what we're going to do 
on the shorter of uh, the shorter remainder, we're going to cut away at the first marker. So you can see, is that very clear, Matt, or is it not clear? You've got these markers here. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So what we're going to do, we're going to align the ruler with this marker, and you have a matching marker at the other end. And we're just taking off literally the excess, which is. Can we just show the markers again, just yeah, so everyone's so clear? Uh, square even, if you, even if you hold the paper up to the, the camera. Yeah, there we go. There we go. This outside, uh, we'll call it a seam. <laughs> um, yeah. So we're, we're taking off the shorter. Straight run. You don't need to keep that. And then you can see that the overlap now, if you align the markers, you start to see that the lines actually run and you can see the panels taking shape. Um, so because I know that's right and I've just offered it up beforehand, um, now I'm going to take the tape. Um, I'm using a double-sided tape. Uh, not the tape I use on the kites. This is just your basic kind of double-sided tape you can get from. So it's like a, like a paper craft type of uh, double-sided tape, yeah. Exactly that. Um, and it's set to the width of the tape is also what the width of the margin is. So it should align perfectly. He says as he applies it to the wrong place. <laughs> um, so you can see that the tape runs flush from the edge right to that marker yeah so can we see do you can we have a look at the brand of what exactly what tape you're using yes we can um so this is uh just a basic salad tape double-sided tape from well i got this at asda okay perfect okay yeah. so cellar tape double-sided tape okay yep um so I know that's aligned. I've offered it up before, and then we're just literally aligning the markers again and placing that in place. And you can see that you get this perfect continued line across the seam. Yeah, perfect. And what, all we're going to do is we're going to repeat that process throughout the, the template, and it's as easy as that. Okay, and uh, so that's effectively top to bottom. Uh, and when it comes to uh, side to side, sort of left to right, um, which we'll, which markers we shall, are we cutting there? We shall get to that in just a second. So if anyone has any questions at this point, uh, please feel free to put them in the chat both YouTube and Facebook. Um, I don't know if we said before, Matt, but um, this project is looking to probably take about six weeks. Okay. So, yeah, similar to... Uh, the time scale of, I suppose it'll be a bit longer actually than the time scale on the uh, mini poles. And how I'd, I'm interested to know uh, how people got on with the, the mini poles and have any more been built? Have you flown them? What did you think? How, you know, how did it fly? So we've got Mark Schultz that just joined us. Good evening, Mark. How are you? I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what... sorry about uh, josh uh, yeah the uh, mini pulse i was very very impressed when i flew mine good I was, I was expecting something virtually incontrollable do you remember the old rev twos that were quick as lightning yes um this is nothing like that it's a really nice kite to fly i was very very impressed it's it's so uh it's so much fun um, the first time I flew mine, I made the mistake of having it. Oh, I just put it at the end of my normal 120 foot lines, and it, I I couldn't actually feel anything at the end of the line. <laughs> so, 
uh yeah we, we i went to uh 85s and it was perfect yeah great great little kite lots and lots of fun but it does feel just like a toy almost I've never flown an 80 foot, 85 foot lens. 80 feet, yeah, but not 85. Well, you know. Boring fact for you there. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't they were 80 ish. They, they might have been 87 for all I know. Can I have some coat lines, please? How long do you want them? 80 ish. Well, no, they, to be honest, they're a set that. Uh, we made up on the beach last year, so it's very much eighty foot ish. <laughs> so we're nearly there, and now for the next stage. So Peter's made three uh, mini pulses. I saw that, and I believe he stacked them as well. Yeah. Uh, no, that I ah uh, no. I think that's a different Peter. So uh, that Peter Loop just said that he'd made three, but also Peter uh, Jansen made three and stacked his. And I've seen those flying and they are very spectacular. So if you're listening, Peter, well done. Um, yes. Right. Are we, uh, are we ready to move on? Yeah, absolutely, mate. Cool. Um, so we've made effectively vertical runs and now we need to put them together. So I'm just going to move the duck. So at this so, moment you've got, you've got columns. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. So yeah. 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 Um, so what we're removing, um, as you look at the columns, you should have your reference code at the top left. Okay. Um, and as it works, we are taking the the spare that that excess seam off where the on the left hand side of the columns. So essentially, where the logo, uh, where the reference code is, we're taking this edge off. Okay. So your reference code is it will be in the top left of your column, top left. and you will be removing the. Uh, left, excess no. on the left hand side if the reference is in the top left hand corner uh, and i have just rotated this so i am taking off the left yeah piece. yeah 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 uh, so peter said he made a, no stack but he did make one vented i'd be very interested to see how the vented flies uh because yeah, I, I can imagine that uh, something having even less pull. So I did see somebody made quite an interesting, like um, khaki green kind of color pulls, um, and I want to know if that was incorrect or not. Because if it wasn't, I want to know where. You, if it was, I want to know where you got that color. Yeah, I can't remember. I I almost want to say it was Mark. Uh, Geodone, I think. Sorry if I'm completely mispronouncing your surname. Uh, surnames are not my strong point. <laughs> but Mark G. So Mark G, I think you made a dark green kite. If it was you, let us know. So Mark, which colour maverick will you be building? I am going to be making uh, a flow green wing tipped one ah. and flow uh, yellow flow yellow sorry flow yellow <laughs> yes uh it was and, white uh, white kites are really doing it for me at the moment so it's going to be a, a mixture of white and flow yellow and have you um have you made a visual of this on the kite paint website i have used the kite paint website uh to yeah to have a look at the different color combinations now that is definitely worthwhile mentioning um Watty has very very kindly uh, added the maverick to the kite paint website so if you want to explore your color options then uh please go and check it out it's a very very useful tool 
Uh, and actually, I'm going to try now and look back and find the link so I can repost it um, for anyone wanting to have a look. Here we go. Okay, so the link is going in the chat now. Okay, any questions from the peanut gallery? From the what? <laughs> the peanut gallery. You must you must have heard that before. <laughs> no. No? Okay. All right. Well it is a real thing, I assure you. Okay. Uh, right. Um so uh, I've cut the, the edges off. Um, and what we're doing now, because we've left the edge on the right-hand side, that's where we apply our tape to. Um, I've already applied it. You can see it runs down the side of the right-hand side. Yeah. Um, and because we've cut the left off before, um, we can apply those up now. So just before we do that, um, this bit gets a little bit tricky. So if you've got something with a little bit of weight, like I, I'm going to use Red Bull. What a um, surprise. <laughs> um, just use that to just hold down the one that you're applying to. Um, so mine is in place. Um, and I'm peeling away now. So you've got that raw edge where you're going to be applying to. Um, and then I'm going to stand up for this part because it's longer. So excuse me if I... Uh, my top now, up. there is a technique um, that I use for aligning panels on, uh, to be honest, most of the stuff I do because uh, I'm not very neat, so I need additional assistance. Now, if you were to weigh uh, both halves down, get them all aligned, then put um, weights on them, you can actually lift back the edge that's going on top, take the carrier off of the tape, and then basically let the the top unfold onto the bottom. Um, so then you don't have the issue of trying to align it. Does that, have I made sense? Did, 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 does that make sense what I'm talking about? That makes perfect sense. Yeah. So uh, to anyone out there that wants to uh, give that a go, that is definitely my preferred technique. And um, yeah, if you're like me and a bit clumsy, then it definitely helps. Well, um, watch out. Uh, I've been uh, interrupted by the Kite Tech dog. Oh, Kite Tech dog has come to uh, check on your work, has he? He has. Unfortunately, he, he didn't agree to the Kite Tech hoodie. <laughs> right yeah yeah or the uh the template and the spray pen i i mean no that was never an idea no, no. <laughs> yeah that was that, no no we never passed that <laughs> no, 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 absolutely okay so uh so mark g didn't make the green <laughs> he made a purple one uh oh no he made a purple white and black and the other all black with red pink and white strips on one side very nice um and ah right okay peter good question so peter has asked can we make the black and gray areas colorable on the colorizer so we have actually we had actually asked Watty to uh, effectively lock those panels the reason being that for the uh short term at least we want to try and keep all of the mavericks looking uh as similar as possible just with some accented colors so w if you are making one we would request that the black and gray areas stay the same uh, if you really do have a problem with with those colors then by all means change it up uh, we just thought it'd be a nice idea if we had lots of sort of matching kites um, but at the moment it's not available on the colorizer so <laughs> you'll just have to imagine it for the time being Yes. Right. Um, we're almost ready to complete this template. Um, so again, it's just, I've got two halves. So I've got one half because then you're only adding one. That was really obvious. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got two halves and it's the same process again. So just literally peeling back. But this is the point now where 
it's really, really easy to mess this up. Um, so I, at this point, I suggest you have a lot of kite building snacks because uh, I'm going to use Red Bull. I would be using brownies to like weigh this down. Uh, I'm just making myself hungry, really. Um, <laughs> but yeah, maybe so with- maybe multiple cans of Red Bull. <laughs> Or multiple brownies. Um, or multiple brownies. Uh, and then, yeah, we're just going to go along and add up these templates. I was actually trying to trawl out Amazon uh, last week for some good weights um, for the purpose of kite making. But uh, I don't know if you've seen them. I'm sure you've even got one. But, you know, the round... Um, the round weights that people use, I see them all the time, but I have Door no stops. idea. Ah, okay. Good shout. Good shout. Yeah. I see them all the time. I just time. repurposed some nice heavy coasters, nice heavy oh, okay. stone coasters. Oh, they have a nice port bottom on them too. Alan, that's exactly it. Right, I'm going to just switch to Alan so everyone can see what I'm talking about. That's yep. exactly what I'm talking these about. Are, these are door stops. But they're rubberized on the bottom. They really do hold things down really, really well. You get big fat ones and tall ones. Excellent. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So now I can just look for door stops. And uh... so, so, so Alan has the first Tombola prize this week. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Um, so this is all stuck together now. Um, I will give you guys an overview shot. Um, and I'm going to show you guys how we're just going to make sure this is right. So. You can see it's all stuck together. Um, and what you'll see is we this time we've added this 100 mil line. Um, and all we're going to do to make sure that we've got them to the right scale is just double check that, in fact, that line is 100 mil. Um, and that's coming out at exactly 100 mil. Unfortunately, I did have a tear right above it. Um, but as it's not in the part of a panel, it's kind of irrelevant. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can see that looking over that, it's exactly 100 mil. Um, and we know that's correct because of that. Um, yeah, nice. That's that's much appreciated. I think, uh, yeah, people will be very grateful for that because uh, we didn't have that last time. Uh, and, yeah, people didn't have a way of checking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, people were messaging me saying, oh, what's the the top or the side length of A1? <laughs> um that, that's literally the only way we could do it but yeah. yes so thank you for that uh ian duncalf said look for quilting weights as well uh, by the way yeah good evening Ian. didn't realize you were sitting in there watching so uh nice to see you thanks for joining us um and yeah i know ian very well and ian makes some very interesting color yes kites. yeah i've i've seen some of ian's kites and actually uh funnily enough uh he was probably the my inspiration for making my first kite. I think it's fair to say uh, during one of your uh, quad clinics up at Pontefract, um, yeah, he was he was someone that actually sort of pushed me to do it. So much appreciated, Ian. Thanks, mate. Um, is it? The, I think Ian has a grey and pink and fluorescent orange kite um, that just doesn't. Uh... Yeah, you can't miss it. No. <laughs> right. Um, so we're ready to move on. Um, now that you've got all your panels in this format, you, you can see where you need to cut them. Um, and you're cutting on the outside of this line. Um, the lines are as thin as possible because then you get to effectively the closest you can to the drawn true size of the panel. Um, but I'm just going to change the scalpel blade because you don't want to um, you don't want to rush this. It's a, a sharp scalpel blade here. You're not going to tear the templates. Um, but yeah, so all we're going to do is literally line up with the edges and just run around the outside of it, um, making sure your uh, your cuts are nice and clean. If you can do them in the single cut, it's better. If you can't, um, just try and carry on any straight lines. Um, I understand that there are curved lines in this panel in these panels and we'll get to that in a second um, but yeah you, you guys don't need me to tell you how to cut paper <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Well, I do get it, that the, the first uh, the first week is essentially cut and stick. <laughs> yes, yes, we've we've really gone back to basics <laughs> with this one. Um, but in fairness, th- there were um, we sort of moved straight to the the Icarex, uh for the mini pulse, and I think there's a few there. We we there's quite a few beginners that are joining us and it's nice to just try and take it really from uh, the very first point. So yeah, excuse, you'll have to excuse for the advanced people. um, Yeah. We apologize that this is probably quite dull, but I think it's Um, a necessary point. It's also worth pointing out that if you guys do purchase the kits, you're buying raw fabric. They won't be pre-cut for you. Yeah, so they won't be in panels. So just a mention of the kits then. Uh, we have, I know Josh has mentioned before, but we have uh, kits with everything you need. So including the fittings, the frame, uh, the other little extras that you may need. Um, we have kits with and without Icarex. Uh, if you go for the kits with Icarex, you have three options. Uh, you'll have the pink, the blue, or the white, as in the the uh, preview pictures, and they will be the raw, uncut Icarex. So you will still have to cut out panels yourself. Okay, Mark, um, I'm just going to dive in there. Um, so I've just come to the, the panel B4. Um, and you can see that there's actually quite a, a strong curve in this panel, um, and that can be a little bit awkward to cut. So what I suggest you do for curved panels um, is just literally take your time with them um, and do about half half a centimetre, a couple of centimetres at a time. Um, as you can see, my scalpel is not sharp enough and I've just torn straight into that panel. <laughs> um, but yeah. Could, so just, would you not use scissors? You can use scissors. Um, I tend to not like to use scissors, um, but it's actually for curved uh, templates it's probably a good show yeah i just i guess um it's easier i mean unless you you are particularly crafty and you're gonna freehand the curve uh which i i if uh, to be honest if it were me i probably would go for scissors uh because yeah the the level of accuracy that you're gonna need at this point um as long as there's a line there to follow and you're not, you know, four years old, you should be able to manage a decent cut with a pair of scissors. Oh, uh, we're not prejudiced against four-year-olds if you are four-year-olds. I'm definitely prejudiced against four-year-olds, I have to say, <laughs> because I have one. Mind you, in fairness, she can probably cut out templates better than me. <laughs> so maybe I'll just get her to do it instead. Right, there you are. We need a GoFundMe page for <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Right. So, uh, that's the B4 template. Um, um, so- Josh, I have to say, I'm sorry, but well well done for, um, first of all, us in the middle of the conversation about it being a very basic requirement, showing <laughs> us how not to do it. Thank you for uh, that, Matt. <laughs> uh, listen, listen. I, it's just nice to see that someone that does everything so right all of the time and is <laughs> basically perfect has actually, for once, yes, not. Well, uh, anyway, um, I wasn't. I wasn't going to let you gloss over that. Just yeah. So there <laughs> yeah. We go. Thank you for that, mate. No anyway, worries. You guys anytime. can work out how to cut these out. They're not. <laughs> they're not difficult. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're really not. <laughs> Um, yeah, you're just cutting around the outside, and if you want to use scissors for the curves, I, it's a great suggestion. Um, there are a numerous amount of um, panels on here. You need to cut them all out because um, they are all required. Um, but in a in a blue Peter fashion, um, here are some I did earlier. Um, and we'll just we'll just run through them so you guys can see basically what everything should look like. Um, I'll assemble them actually as the kite's going to look, and then you guys can have an idea of what we're actually going to be doing. Um, 
So all of the, unlike the mini pulse plan that had uh, guides for the uh, holes for the wing tips uh, the, and uh, the way that the different layers lined up in the corners, each part, each panel here is a constituent part. Like I can see you've got the nose cone there. You've got the yeah the different panels and your reinforcements. And, and due to the complexity of building a kite like this, we're going to release information on how to do it bit by bit. So you frame set up your. Uh, we, we will release what frames you need if you do want to go and find all the individual components yourself. Um, but positionings and everything like that, as we get to it, we'll go through it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so the kite in general should look something. Uh, well, not, not the kite, the templates I think, <laughs> should look something like this. Uh, yeah, perfect. Terrible focus. No, no, it looks good. So um, also it's worth mentioning that... Uh, as, long, as well as the actual plans or the, the templates, there's a layout file that you can also find on the same page. So if you want to, when you're assembling uh, the different uh, panels in to make up the kite, you can use that layout to see where they actually go. Right, and that is basically it for this week. Um, yeah. Perfect. Okay, so, uh, well, thanks for that, Josh, because that was actually really helpful. Uh, I didn't realise that you used double-sided tape for the the uh, templates, which, stupidly, not something I thought of. Um, but, yes, we'll be sure to get some now. And you reckon, I take it you've used other tapes, and actually the Sellotape brand is just one that works quite well. I mean, you can use our trusty favourite ATG tape. Um, yeah. But... If you do that, you are naturally increasing an in expense for something that's quite yeah. disposable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think good show. Um, that, um, it's worth saying that you could use good old fashioned Pritt stick for the paper plans. Okay. Yeah. Um, and it does allow some adjustment if you don't get it quite lined up right. Yeah. So you get some positioning time. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. that's, that's yeah. good. Yeah. That's a good shout. Uh, okay. So, uh, Right, well, are there any questions? Uh, okay, so Peter said, can you say what material each panel goes with? Uh, A4, C4 nose, and B4. Uh, ah, I know what he's referring to. Okay, yes. Um, so, hold on, keep, keep, the, keep the crowd happy, Matt. <laughs> yeah, will do. Uh, We've also got Ian that's asking about the sizes of the leading edge and spines. Um, that information will be released next week. Okay. Um, but for good reason. Um, well, we'll actually release a PDF in the coming week, is what I mean. Yeah, so we, as, as we go through the build, we, the, we also have to make sure that we don't overwhelm anyone uh, that might be new to building. So we tend to uh, sort of drip feed the information as we go through week to week to week. So there's, you only have to worry about the bits that we've only just spoken about. Uh, so yes, go on then, Josh, let's talk about material. So your materials, A4 and C4 um, are going to be Dacron. Uh, B4 is going to be Mylar and your Nose is going to be Cordura, um, or a word I can't pronounce, but it begins with a B. Um, is it bisonal? Uh, yes, that's yes. Um, <laughs> well, I don't, I don't even know where that came from, but yeah, but yeah that's that's kind of it. Um, okay. Sale is going to be if you get a kit form, it's going to be Icarax polyester. Uh, the frames are going to be Sky Shark. Um, and the fittings are generally going to be APA. Awesome. Um, so what's remind everyone of the deadline for the, uh, the frames? For guaranteed. Yeah. Um, so uh, if you're wanting everything, uh, so the Icarex and all the frames, everything like that for the entirety of the build, um, it's going to be Wednesday, um, really, Okay. for the deadline. Uh, let's put a 5 p.m. deadline on that. 
Okay, um, and I'm I will I will uh, repin the uh, post to the top of the on the line page uh, so that if you've forgotten the link, you'll be able to go straight to the kits and the plan. It'll be the top post on the page. Uh, you should be able to find it easily. Uh, yes. Anything? What What do we need for next week, Josh? Um, next week, we're going to be looking at laying up the sale. So uh, a, a bit like the first um, episode of the mini polls, we're going to be cutting panels and start to assembling our flat sails. Okay. Excellent. Uh, and well, do we need any specific bits and pieces, soldering iron, anything like um, that? Yeah, so we're going to need a scalpel, a ruler, uh, some ATG tape if you have it, and some Icarax, and of course your panels. Um, I would just like to also put it out there that if um, the, the the guaranteed delivery is only currently in Europe, obviously if you guys are ordering for US delivery or anywhere else, um, it, there's no guarantee that it will be ready, uh, will be with you in time for the start, but. Um, if you guys are happy to catch up with these videos, will be recorded on YouTube, so you can catch up with them at any point. Yeah, yeah, and we will be putting a full kit list together um, or publishing it in the week, so that uh, for those of you that don't want to go for the uh, the fittings kit and you want to source your own bits, then you can do so. Uh, so yeah, if there are any other questions now is the time to ask anybody got anything uh chris you uh were, were you building along at the same time me yes yeah, I yeah. Been along. Um, how far I, how far did you get come on um well, I had a little bit of a head start of printing them out a while ago, but I've been trying to cut out the panels. Um, the only thing that I would ask is, which are there any panels which have curves on that aren't necessarily obvious? Because in the Pulse one, I have to admit that I accidentally clipped the top off one of the very slightly curved panels, and I've just gone to cut out A1 and noticed that A1 has a very slight curve on it, but it looks straight. So I'm just wanting to know, are there any that I could easily yes. miss? Um, so something to be aware of, anything that is connected to the trailing edge or the leading edge will have a curve in it. Okay, okay so, so you, so you can that. use the layout. layout. Yeah. yeah, okay. All right, so anything that's on the leading edge, which is the bit at the front, for anyone that doesn't know the terminology, so the leading edge, uh, it, do you know what? Let me just get the, uh, let me get the, lay, the layout out so we can see here. Uh, okay, sorry, bear with me, everyone. Well, the kite tech dog has fallen asleep and is snoring, so I apologize if that well, comes it's, over. It's because, it's because you've been speaking to him, that's that's why. Oh, <laughs> uh, very harsh. Here we go, right? So, uh, can everyone see my screen? Yes. Yep. Okay. So it looks like Chris, we're talking about A1, B1, A3, B3, C3, and D4. And B2. And B2. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so it's good job. Yeah. 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 Everything but A2, in fact. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, excellent. Okay. Good. Well, I'm glad we've got that established. Alan, uh, you've yep. been making your templates at the same time, have you? Yeah, I've not quite cut them out perfectly, but if I tilt the uh, the laptop, there's my. Aha! My wow, panel. you 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 were cracking on through that, Alan. Goodness me! Uh, <laughs> I and, haven't uh, done it before. Uh, so yeah, well, <laughs> and then, let's let's have a look at uh, what is here. We go. Wow! Look. Yep. So just hot cut out a ram or cut out a ram board so I can hot cut up against it. Um, yeah. Nice. Perfect. Good work. Everyone is absolutely smashing through this at the moment. Okay. So, um, well, I don't think there's any more questions. I'll just check Facebook. No, I think we're good. So, um, all right. Well, thank you everyone for, um, watching with us and taking part with us and 
we will see you all next week same time sunday 8 p.m uk time uh and with that i think all we have to do is um well you know what's coming oh no everyone, <laughs> everyone knows so everyone wave say goodbye to everyone at home bye see you later see you next week